What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over some different free and paid ways to spy on your competitors Google Ads campaigns. So I'm going to be starting with a few of the different free methods that we can use and I'll be going through those different methods and how you can actually see your competitors advertisements and see a lot of their advertisements without having to actually search on targeted keywords and finding your competitors. So that'd be the first thing and some of the different things that we can do to basically figure out what keywords our competitors are bidding on, what their ads look like, what their landing pages look like, how much they're spending, how much traffic they're driving. So we'll go through all of that throughout this video. A couple of the paid tools I'm gonna go over throughout this video are SpyFu and SEMrush. Now SEMrush is basically your all-in-one marketing tool, whereas SpyFu I view more as basically your PPC and SEO tool. SEMrush is going to be the all-in-one marketing. So I'm an affiliate for both of these tools. I've recently been hit by the invalid traffic penalty on YouTube. So basically my revenue has dropped by about 90% with really no solution from YouTube except other than telling me to stop driving invalid traffic to my channel, which I'm not doing. So if you want to sign up for either of these tools, I am an affiliate to SEMrush. I am an affiliate to SpyFu. So if you sign up with my affiliate link, you could always get started. If you don't like either of the tools, you can cancel at any time. I would recommend starting with a monthly plan to get started. And then if you really like either of the tools, you can move to an annual plan. So I use SpyFu pretty extensively for PPC and SEO information. And I also use SEMrush as well. So both really great tools. And they can give you a lot of insights about PPC advertising campaigns, search engine optimization, keyword research, topic research, everything like that. So let's get started with how to spy on your competitors and their Google Ads campaigns by first starting with the Google Ads Transparency Center. Go to adstransparency.google.com. It's automatically going to pull in my region here. So it says region United States, um, but ads transparency for a safe and open internet. So basically, once you come here to this homepage and you scroll down, you're going to see a search bar. So within the search bar, what we can do is just search for any advertiser we want. For this example, I'm just going to use Nike. So we'll just pull up Nike. They have a ton of different advertisements we can look at. So very first thing, you're going to see Nike Incorporated. And then there's going to be a few different options here as far as some of the ways that we can filter the advertisements we're seeing. But if we just scroll down, you can see this is showing us approximately 5,000 ads. Now, what you can get from this is understanding what Nike is actually trying to sell with their advertisements. And you can actually use this ad data to understand what keywords they're bidding on. Now, obviously, Nike is going to be bidding on a lot of Nike-related keywords, like Nike Zoom Air tennis shoes. Um, but if we scroll down, you could see U.S. Women's National Team, official Nike fan gear. So if they are bidding on this, it's probably a keyword related to the U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. Keep scrolling down, Travis Kelsey Apparel, Las Vegas Raiders gifts. So these are all probably sections on their website and some of the different ways that they're driving traffic to different sections of the Nike website. So what you can get from some of these advertisements is just seeing, for example, shop Nike soccer shoes. If we click on this advertisement, they'll actually give us some variations of the advertisements. So you'll see just your standard text advertisement come over, another standard text advertisement, another standard, and this one over here is another text advertisement, but really more of a mobile with a phone call and a location here. So some different ways that their ads may look. Uh, so coming back over to Nike, a couple of the different things that you can do is if you're looking for specific topics, what you can do is search for something along the lines of soccer, and you're gonna see all sorts of different soccer brands here. So that will change what advertiser is actually showing here. With the advertiser we're showing here, what you can do is under any time, you can say, I wanna look at the last seven days, some of the advertisements that Nike has been running within their account. So you could see still approximately 5,000 ads. So they create a ton of advertisements, but you could see they have a Labor Day sale. So Labor Day just passed. So you could see some of the different ads that Nike is running through the Ad Transparency Center. The other thing is locations where ads were shown. So if you wanna look at specific countries, you can do that as well. And then we can also look under at all formats. They have image, text, and video ads. So if we click on video ads, we can see some of the different video ads that Nike has been running recently. And you can actually just click through any of these advertisements here and you can see what this ad actually looks like and play the video. So we can get some, see what their actual advertisements look like. Now for a company as big as Nike, it's kind of hard to compare any company to Nike unless you're literally Adidas or Under Armour. Um, but the main thing is here, you can put in any company that is one of your competitors and you can see their advertisements and see a lot of their advertisements using the Google Ad Transparency Center. You can also do this, for example, if you see a competitor within the search results and you see one of their advertisements. So we have, 
we'll just continue with our Zoho example here. So we have Zoho.com down here. Let's say they're one of my competitors. I want to see more of their advertisements. Click on the three little dots next to an ad. So make sure it says sponsored up here. Click on the three little dots here. And what you're going to see is if we scroll down, first off, you can block ads, report ads, like ads if you like them, see more or fewer ads like this. So you can actually use my ad center to make sure you're getting the right ads served to you. Um, but what we can see here is if we click on see more ads this advertiser has shown through Google, we can come in and see a lot of these Zoho advertisements as well. So they have a lot of advertisements too. But things like app performance monitoring, share large files easily, best accounting software for small and medium businesses, Java app monitoring. You can basically see a lot of the different keywords that they're actually targeting. So you can reverse engineer and go from advertisement to keyword very easily using the Google Ad Transparency Center. You can go directly to this URL or use the method I just showed you where we click on the three dots over here and we click on see more ads this advertiser has shown. So first and foremost, that is one of the easiest and quickest ways and a free way to see your competitors' ads. And the other thing that you can do is get a little more information about landing page data by actually finding your competitors' ads in the search results. And the way that you can do that is you can use the Ad Transparency Center. So if you see something like Web Application Monitoring, now this is site24x7.com, so a different domain but part of the Zoho Corporation. But let's just say we search Web Application Monitoring. Hopefully we get this advertisement. So I was able to find one of their advertisements, but this page actually refreshed. So I lost the advertisement, but I did find their landing page. But one of the things you can do is if you're trying to look up landing page data as well, if you scroll over any of these links at the very bottom of the page, it's going to show you what the landing page is. So this one is logicmonitor.com slash LP slash enterprise monitoring platform. Now I found the landing page for site 24 X seven web application monitoring. You can see when we come here, start 30 day free trial, and then they just have some more information as we come down here. So you could find any of your competitors landing pages very easily. So if we just come back here and we do our accounting software again, and we look at all of our accounting software and we look at Zoho.com. So I can open up the Zoho landing page very easily. When we scroll over it, it's Zoho.com slash us slash books. So I'm going to open up their landing page. Okay, so we see their landing page. You can see very online accounting software built for your business. Start my 14-day free trial. Explore a demo account. Register for a free webinar. They have requested demo down here. They have a chat down here. Sign up now. Basically, their main call to action is start my 14-day free trial. Screenshots of the platform. It looks like with a video as well. Um, we're not going to watch the video right now. Some of the different things that this software can do. Features at a glance. So a really nice landing page here. Uh, simple and affordable pricing, powering thousands of businesses, so some nice testimonials. So honestly, Zoho has a really good landing page, and you can see your competitor's landing page by just simply finding their, ad, their ads in the search results. So sometimes if you use the Ad Transparency Center, it can help you understand, okay, this advertiser is actually targeting this keyword. They're using this keyword to drive traffic to this landing page. What can I learn from this? So some of the free methods that we can start with, these are really the main things you can do completely free. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to see exactly what your competitors are doing in the search results. So let's get to some of the different paid options here. And one of the inexpensive options you have is SpyFu. So SpyFu, their pricing starts very, very low compared to SEMrush. Believe you can purchase a full year subscription to SpyFu if you do the annual basic plan for basically nothing compared to a lot of other keyword research tools under $200 a year. And with this, you're going to be able to see plenty of information about what your competitors are bidding on, what their ads look like. Now, if you're looking for more, you can sign up for the annual or monthly professional plan. Still very inexpensive. Uh, so I am currently on the professional plan and I've used, I'm just using the monthly plan. And they've actually given me a lifetime offer that's much less expensive. So I would highly recommend trying a SpyFu if you haven't already. Even if you try it for a month, it's a really great tool. Um, and within SpyFu, if we come back over here, I actually have a few screenshots I can show you. Uh, try not to show too much information from other people's accounts. But over here, if we go to PPC, see what's inside, scroll down, and PPC competitor research. So some of the different things you can do. Competitor keyword spy tool, monitor your PPC competitors, find the competitor's keywords you don't already buy. The Google Ads Advisor is Google Ads keyword research based on your website, analyzing all of your competitors' Google Ads bidding history. So competitor Google Ads campaign and ad test history. PPC negative keyword match recommendations. So making sure that any 
broad keywords you have within your account that your competitors have also tried to bid on in the past, they're going to say, you know what, negative this keyword, it's not going to drive your results. And then the PPC ad rank tracker. So I'm going to show you a few screenshots right now of SpyFu, some of the different things you can do. And if we click on any of these, you'll get a little more information about what you can do with SpyFu. Um, start by entering a domain. So they'll give us a little information here, even if we're not signed up. Let's go with, we'll just continue our example here. So if we look at any anything here, you're going to see most successful keywords. So these are considered their most successful keywords that they are bidding on. One of the really cool things is if you click on combat over here, it'll actually take whatever the website is, pull in a couple different competitors and then have, this is what I really like. So potential ad waste and consider buying. So advice specific for your website, when you enter your website, it'll pull up some of your competitors automatically. And we can see some of the different keywords that are being bid on by all of these domains. So these are all the keywords that any of these domains buy. So understanding, okay, these, my competitor is bidding on this keyword. They're sending traffic to this page. They're trying to drive a conversion using this, this keyword and they're spending this much money on it. And I'm not bidding on that keyword. That's a keyword I need to add to my campaign. So SpyFu will give you all of this information. The other thing is the Google Ads Advisor. If you enter your URL here and we scroll down, you can see they're gonna give us a ton of good buy keywords that Zoho.com is not already buying. So this is another good place to start when you are using SpyFu. So another tool to spy on your competitors' Google Ads. Then the more expensive option is SEMrush. Now, SEMrush, if you're just looking to spy on your competitors, I wouldn't say you need to use SEMrush for this, but they have three different tools, the Keyword Magic Tool, Advertising Research, and PLA Advertising, Product Listing Ads. So this is for Google Shopping Ads. Advertising Research is just going to be competitors' keywords, their ad copy, their landing pages, basically all of that information. And then Keyword Magic Tool is... Basically what they say, the largest keyword database on the market, billions of related terms, phrases, niche topics, um, and keywords that you can help build a keyword list for your PPC advertising campaigns. SEMrush will also give you a lot of insights into your competitors as well. So I have a few screenshots to show you of some different things that we can do. Okay, first screenshot, advertising research, enter a URL and you're going to see their keywords. When you click on keywords, it'll show you all the keywords they're bidding on, their total traffic from PPC advertising and their monthly traffic costs from PPC advertising. So this is all monthly data. So you can see with the advertising research, you can see the estimated traffic that they're getting, keywords and the estimated traffic for each individual keyword. Even up here at the top, you can see their ad positions, position changes, competitors, ad copy, ad history, pages, and subdomains. So basically anything you could possibly think about when it comes to advertising, you can see directly through SEMrush. So another option that you have here, you're gonna see the paid search positions between one and 100. Now they have 112,000 keywords, so that is a lot of keywords to be bidding on, but you can see their main keywords up here at the very top, and you can see some of the advertisements, the URLs where they're sending traffic to. Um, so Chiefs versus Bengals is one of their main keywords here. The overall volume, 246,000. This keyword, it says, is driving them around 11,000 clicks per month, according to this data, at a cost per click of 85 cents. Now, is that worth it? Maybe for eBay it is, because they probably sell a lot of products to some of these fans. Last but not least, looking at uh, some of the different ad copies here. Now, we didn't go into every single thing you could do with SEMrush, but you can see the different ad copy that eBay is using as well. And then you can actually see the keywords for each individual ad. So that's another really cool feature through SEMrush that I'd highly recommend checking out. A few screenshots from SpyFu to go over some things we haven't yet. Okay, so first things first, the PPC research. So when you go to PPC research, you're going to have an overview, competitors, combat, PPC keywords, ad history, the Google Ads Advisor, and Google Ads templates. So if I enter something like Nike.com, you're going to see their main, most popular keywords that are driving the majority of their clicks. Now, if we come back over here, what we can also see is I went over the Google Ads Advisor. Where can I buy a pair of Adidas Supernova running shoes, women's size 7? Now, is that really a keyword to bid on? But maybe if you bid on Adidas Supernova running shoes, but... For Nike.com, I don't know if that's the best recommendation. So the Google Ads Advisor, not always the best. And I would assume Nike is using all sorts of buy recommendation tools. So they probably don't have too many keywords that they're not currently bidding on that will send them conversions. Last but not least, one of my favorite things is the combat. So you enter Nike.com, it pulls in finishline.com, dicksportinggoods.com. All keywords, core keywords, consider buying, potential ad waste, advice for Nike. So I like all of these different options with SEMrush. Now, another tool that you can use is iSpionage. So it's iSpionage.com. I'll show you the website in a second. I have a few screenshots from iSpionage as well. 
Okay, so first and foremost, you enter a website and what it's going to show is they have PPC and SEO stats. And what you can see, they'll give you a summary, total Google PPC keywords, probably have way more keywords than that. Um, average ad position, PPC advertising budget, last month clicks. A lot of this data doesn't look overly accurate to me. Um, so sometimes seeing this summary isn't always the best thing. But uh, what we also have is some of the different ads for espionage. So if we go to nike.com, we can see some of the ads. So 15,000 total Google ads, 23,000 total Bing Yahoo ads, but you can go through and see the ads, see the destination URL for this ad. And the other thing they have is an AEI score. So that's basically to help you create the most engaging ads possible that will help drive your, the overall cost of your traffic down. So espionage is another option that you have here as you are looking to try to spy on some of your competitors. So espionage.com, the AdWords competitor keyword tool. Personally, I would prefer an SEMrush or a SpyFu rather than using Ispionage. But this is basically an overview for some different ways to monitor your competitors' Google Ads. The cheapest way to do it is with SpyFu if you're not going to use a free method. The one other thing that you can do is go to your auction insights through your Google Ads. So if you open up your Google Ads account, um, so we'll open up mine real quick. Okay, so open up Google Ads. Click on the campaign that you want to look at. So we have our list of ad groups here. And what we're going to do is click on Auction Insights and just look at a period of data. And we can see some of the different competitors based on our bidding. Now, I never had that high of an impression share. If you have a higher impression share, you should see more competitors here. All of these are not really truly competitors of mine. They're way, way bigger than my website will ever be, but you can see impression share, overlap rate, position above rate, top of page rate, outranking share, absolute top of page rate. So kind of seeing basically how often each of these companies, when they are bidding on similar keywords as you, and how often you guys are basically going after the same exact keywords, your overlap based on the keywords you're targeting and the keywords they are targeting, um, and just seeing some of your competitors in the search results. This, what you can do is use this data, especially if you find other similar websites. So these websites aren't, this is for farmhousegoals.com. Obviously, I'm not nearly as big as any of these websites or businesses, but what you could do is take some of these URLs as well and then just come back over to Google, do what we did before and do a couple searches, go to the Ad Transparency Center and see what your competitors' ads look like, and then doing searches and trying to find keywords and other advertisements like yours. For example, I could do something like farmhouse dining tables. And then what you can do is look up, okay, who is actually bidding on these keywords? Who has some shopping ads? Who is my competitor in the Google search results, not only for SEO, but really for Google ads. So we can figure out what types of products are selling and then figure out how we can actually take that information, improve our Google ads campaign, improve our SEO campaign as well. Um, and then last but not least, just looking at landing pages for your competitors. I'd highly recommend doing that a lot. So this is how to spy on your competitors. The main way to do it in a free method is the Google Ads Transparency Center, which you can also find directly through the Google search results. Click on the three dots next to the ad, see more ads, and you'll open up the Transparency Center for that advertiser. Other than that, if you want a list of keywords that your competitors are bidding on, the main way to do that is with a paid tool like SpyFu or SEMrush. You could also try Espionage. I actually don't even know how much their pricing is. Okay, based on this pricing, SpyFu, SEMrush. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.